Kathy Vick, Deeply Awake. Uh, I'm going to make this kind of short, and there's a lot of ambient sound. It's super windy today, and I have a dishwasher going. So I hope that you can hear my voice okay and that I, I don't, um, uh, that, it, that it's a good quality. I want to um, talk to you about what has happened for me, what I'm aware of, and uh, this, in, this can set for me the uh, trajectory now for the next little bit. It's been about a week since I've uh, come to the camera, and I want to talk about what happened on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Really, the, the, the big stuff happened on uh, Friday. I had learned early in the day that the full moon uh, was in Virgo, and uh, it was at 11 degrees, 22 minutes. And that made me perk up a little bit, firstly, because I don't really pay attention to all that stuff. I let that stuff sort of present to me, moon to moon or whatever. I don't pay attention. So when something does get my attention, I look at it. And it <laughs> it's so cute because the full moon at 1122, 11 degrees, 22 minutes, I read this thing on Friday morning that it was actually uh, the exact location of a secondary asteroid which um, has as its story uh, the whole victim, perpetrator, rescuer model. That's what it was about. I found that really beautiful because that indeed is what I've been working on this lifetime and I uh, found it prophetic because the ascendant of my new natal chart just happens to be 11 degrees and 22 minutes in Pisces and I knew I knew when I saw that information that there were some big things that were happening for me on that full moon. I let the day progress and uh, I had a very profound experience on Friday night. And what it brought home for me is that um, an entire lifetime, an entire way of being, of expressing, expecting, planning, I didn't want anymore. I was finished. I was done. Uh, and really, in essence, it just had to do with uh, duality. My last lifetime was all about duality and divinity. And the uh, natal chart that I operate with now tells a different tale. It's a um, tells a tale of balance and of um, destiny and of purpose. Of course, my last one, I had a purpose and a destiny, yes. But I was just working on different issues. And this really isn't about life and death and all that. It's just about influences and choices for me. Have I lost you? Can you can you believe perhaps that I kind of by accident realized that um, ever since 2012 I've been functioning with two natal charts and uh, that that the uh, the strength of these natal charts altered and changed as my life progressed through the last six years until I hit Friday night. It it, it was a it was it was a really uh, it was a hard thing that I experienced on Friday night. I was um, 
publicly. Rejected and denied. It, it was uh, stunning how how much I wasn't welcome by someone who I once knew as um, the family I wish I had. It's hard. But it made me realize something. It made me realize, as I was looking at the full moon all the way home and thinking about 11 degrees, 22 minutes and the in Pisces and this really strong axis that I had of Pisces and Virgo and of good and bad, right and wrong, divine and, and profane, all that stuff, that I just didn't want it anymore. I didn't want it. I, I, it was a fever pitch. I just, I, I, no matter what comes next, I do not want this anymore. And I went through an event on Saturday that I don't really know how to talk about. Um, I don't know if I ever will, publicly. But I, uh, know now that I was experiencing um, the final moments, the final hours of my old life. I've been sort of recovering ever since, feeling better, feeling stronger. I thought I would be more active today. I'm really not. I have uh, needed to rest today. Um, I'll complete a few tasks, uh, but I needed to rest. What I really want to pass on is that although I had a difficult experience on Friday and a weird experience on Saturday, on Sunday morning when I was getting ready to get up, I sat at the edge of my bed and uh, I, I wanted to pray. And before I'd, I'd had the experience of, of praying, you know, with my hands like this and feeling weird. Like, what am I really doing here? Who am I really talking to here? But it always felt like sort of a, an unanswered question. Sunday morning, I prayed. I entered that sanctuary that I've entered all my life quietly and I understood that the God that I pray to I carry but it's huge. It's it's unknowably infinite. But it's in my skin. I could feel so much help, personal help, standing with me as I sat there and prayed. And I just, I felt a peace in a brand new way. I went then to um, the Aquarium Foundation because I, I had I was feeling shaky. I had I was really glad that I, I hooked into that energy and and the the lesson that was chosen was was just uncanny. 
It was a welcome home. It was a permission slip. It was a highly, highly technical transmission. And uh, it proved to me that uh, I, I, I'm not going to walk alone the rest of the way. That I'm finally home. And, uh, and the training will never end. And what comes next, I'm finally ready for. I'm just so excited. So, you know, the point of all of this, sure, yeah, you gotta you gotta showcase the the goofy thinking and the clarity of thought so that people will understand how to get there, but then once you get there, is it okay to stay there? I, I it was so hard to maintain a high vibration for very long over these years and through these years I have been able to maintain a high vibration consciously more and more but at the end of this I had to move from one consciousness to another and I have I feel so solid and happy and sure now. So, uh, yeah, I think it's about time to rock and roll. I think we're going to get going and do a few things. I'm so excited. It'll be a happy day. It already is a happy day. Uh, but we'll do some happy activities and... and um, get ready for this transition. I am so excited that I have made the transitions that I have in consciousness. Um, some of these occur and I, I honestly think I'm going to stand up and I'm not going to have pain in my hip anymore and it's going to be just this afterthought. Why would I... Yeah, I never had a hip problem. Let's go. Like that. But I've been counseled that um, there's more than just me who uh, is involved here. So um, we'll go through the next part and do it well and I will now be able to do it with a kind of um, mastery that I didn't have before. Um, the emotional aspect of awakening was so intense at times and so hard to understand and put into a framework that uh, I could uh, work with and present. And so um, it's this emotionality that I can see I have mastery over now. And I didn't before. I I, I wasn't. Uh, it it wasn't what was appropriate to to have, and now I do. And so uh, I I anticipate a continuation of great things. A continuation of goodwill. And. of um, peace. Um, really a, a lot less worried about the relationship that I have and the relationships that I have and the uh, all that. It, it's it's not, not as important as it once was. The comfort and enlightenment of others just isn't uh, while being able to hold nothing but absolute love go figure 
I, uh, I don't know how to explain any better than this. But I did want to give to you that, um, that information about the full moon and to um, let you know that for me it's kind of neat because I always sort of argued with it, is it real or is it not? And at this point, I, I just, there's, there's, there's nothing to argue with. What's real and true for me is God. And um, that this is a uh, a spiritual adventure. At least for me. So okay, we're gonna go do our thing and uh, create create. That's it. Just create in safety and uh, in peace and in safety yeah safety it's a big one <sighs> alright it feels like such a little symbol of things that are so massive and I wish that I could express to you better how how good I feel and how lovely it feels to be without doubt amazing so I leave you in uh, respect reverence devotion in peace. So, I'll tell you namaste, what that means to me. I see. I know you. I love you. Thank you. Now, finally, able give that unconditional, joyous love that I used to feel for patience. I can give it to everyone now. That's what got broken through over the weekend. And somehow, it just keeps getting bigger stronger, more solid. Right. Blessings be. Say that.